Tim, what do you sense from the locker room and from the guys around you about not being able to pull out another road win against a team that was missing their best player again? I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, but first and foremost, you know, you got to give them credit. You know, they, they played a unbelievable game, knocked down their shots, um, knocked down some uh, uh, contested shots as well. Uh, even when we made it tough for them, uh, they did have it going uh, at the beginning of the game. So I think we just got to do a better job of, you know, making a stand defensively. Um, we know the offense is there. We know we're going to make shots, but um, we didn't do the job that we were supposed to do with defense leave also. When you don't make free throws as a team, uh, it, it, it doesn't help. So, you know, I give him credit. Lucas talked earlier this season about when he's not making free throws, sometimes it gets in his head and then that spirals and that spirals. Is that like a, a team-wide thing that can happen? Um, and did you get a sense that that was what happened tonight, or did you attribute it to something else at the line? No. Um, just got to go out there and be confident and knock down shots, knock down your free throws. Um, clear myself. Need to be better. Um, everybody has to be better. And, uh, um, I mean, if we make more than half of that, I mean, we wouldn't be in here, you know, no doubt, you know. Well, so, uh, but like I said, you got to give that team credit over there. They played their hearts out tonight. Was Killian Hayes doing anything in particular to get wide open? Um, he knocked down a lot of long twos, contested twos. So um, that's good just playing the percentages. Um, so, I mean, when you knock it down contested twos, you know you got to shake the guy's hand, especially when you try to make it tough for him. But um, at the end of the day, when the guy sees the ball go in the basket uh, a couple of times, couple of floaters here and there, um, it opens um, and the guy gains confidence and that's what happened tonight for him and uh, he did a great job with his pace and um, getting his guys involved and, 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 and being determined. When you shoot 53 from the field and 41 from three point range, you expect to win a game like that. Uh, how do you explain what happened particularly to the rebounding deficit? Yeah, the rebound deficit is um, you know, the big guys out there, we all got a gang rebound as a team, help our bigs out. I do, a, I got to do a better job boxing out. Um, uh, I mean, I, have, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Is this the first game Pops has been at this season? Very first game. Very first game, yeah. <laughs> Family, everybody was here, so. Something good in this it, arena for your offense. Yeah, <laughs> I, it, it gives it. Yeah, I mean, you know, this building, uh, I mean, we played at Auburn Hills when uh, in the Palace when I was in school, but, you know, Detroit is Detroit, you know, so I don't care where we're playing at. You know, I'm playing in front of the fans that cheered me on from 2010 to 2013 and um, also fans that booed me <laughs> coming from East Lansing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, uh, but at the end of the at the end of the day, it's all love. Uh, just happy to go out there, perform well uh, in this building, in the city. Um, it brings a lot of joy and a lot of love, for sure.